The opposition National Democratic Congress has accused President Okufuado of enriching financiers of the new patriotic party by allowing them to engage in illegal mining. The move, according to the NDC, is a grand scheme to help the party to finance the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. The opposition NDC's claim follows reports of missing excavators seized from some illegal small-scale miners as revealed by the Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabena Frimpong Boatin. Speaking at a news conference in Accra on Thursday, National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jemfi, insisted the missing excavator saga goes to confirm the suspicion that government only wanted to enrich MPP bigwigs through the illegal activity. This Galamsey scandal is a result of a grand scheme set up by President Ekufuadu himself to enrich MPP officials to finance the new patriotic party. This is the reason he populated the inter-ministerial committee against illegal mining and anti-Galamsey committees with top MPP officials such as Ekowawisi, Charles Bissu, among others. Sami Jemfi made mention of the Galamsey fraud documentary by ace investigative journalist Anas Arimiya Anas, in which a presidential staffer, Charles Bissu, was caught collecting money to facilitate mining. Apart from the Galamsey kingpin, Charles Bissu, several actors within the Kufuado government have, in one way or the other, compromised the fight against Galamsey whilst President Okufuado looks on unconcerned. He went ahead to outline instances the president failed to act to end the menace, suggesting it was all deliberate in order to get the MPP bigwigs to enrich themselves.